Here we go! We're feeling very gay because it's almost time to play! Grab your favorite chair with a lucky PS! Yes! All right, guys, welcome back to the Lucky Piers. We got another movie review for you. This one's a pretty new horror movie. It's called... Horror-ish. Yeah. Glorious. In quotes, horror. All right, guys, Glorious. No. Uh, let me get to the plot here before we start talking about Should it. Should be a funny plot read. Well, I get all mine from IMDb, so it's like, you they're, know. They're dumbed down, kind of? Yeah. After a breakup, Wes stop. ends up at a remote rest stop. He finds himself locked inside the bathroom with a mysterious figure speaking from an adjacent stall. Soon, Wes realizes he is involved in a situation more terrible than he could imagine. Mm? So, yeah. Uh, what do you guys think about this movie? First thoughts. Um, it was okay. Buddy. It was I think they all right. did the most of what they could have with what they had. I yeah. don't. Was, uh, That's a good way to put it. And it was, I don't think they had much. No, so, they didn't. It was fun, short nonsense. Yeah. I thought it was intriguing from the get-go, but there was no payoff. Yeah, there and really it wasn't. it moved at kind of a slow speed. For how short it was, yeah. Yeah, yeah it moved at almost a glacial speed, <laughs> I uh, would say. <laughs> an, an Aussie lad. He's Australian. Australian. Slow to glacial. <laughs> an Aussie lad. Yeah, from True Blood, no less. Oh yeah, he, he Ryan True Quentin, Blood. yes. Yeah, and uh, J.K. Simmons was, was like, the highlight. Oh, of this. J.K. Simmons either was working on pro bono or they just put the whole budget went to him. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Uh, how did they land that with a zero budget movie? The special effects were decent, though. Oh yeah, but I mean, yeah. but also if you're good enough, you can do crazy special effects like with an, a MacBook. That's true. Yeah. You're when right. I read the synopsis of this movie, I was like. Well, we have to watch it because J.K. Simmons is behind a glory hole, like, yeah. talking to someone in a bathroom the whole time. Like we got to see it. That was one of the I, coolest things, though, is the painting around the glory hole. That looked really cool. I did like, like a uh, demon. yeah, I did like the twist that like Wes was actually like a bad guy. Yeah, like, he was, he was serial like a serial killer. killer. Yeah, which is cool. They don't tell, reveal that until like at least halfway, maybe three quarters. I through. think three quarters, probably. Yeah, that's. But it but, wasn't enough shocking to be like, "Oh, this movie's cool." It wasn't just to be like, "Yeah, ah, all right. yeah." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is there anything that made you really care about no. this movie? But I also no. No. I didn't like that. His, Got was his name? Gat or Got? The uh, the, the demi god, the thing or whatever the hell it was. Mm -hmm. I don't like that his father like couldn't find them. Yeah, apparently his father is Cthulhu. That's what I read. Yeah. But then, literally, Wes just yelled, like, Daddy, Daddy, and then, like, he could find them. Like, that's all it took. <laughs> he couldn't find them in the whole galaxy until one guy, a random dude that he doesn't know, says, Daddy. And, and he's he like, oh, no, he found us. Broke open the wall. <laughs> he's like, he found us. He said, Daddy. <laughs> yeah. I, I have a few notes here. Uh, the girlfriend, Brenda? Thoughts on that, her? I've, are you going to say she reminds you of the ATT girl or something? Hell no. <laughs> I don't think she's attractive at all. Okay. I, yeah. I, just, I knew it was one or the other. I knew Ben was going to see she was hot or she was gross. <laughs> when was, what part was she in? She was the part where... Like he was having flashbacks on her. He was having flashbacks. She was at the party and she was the one that was talking to him and like... In the car with she, he was the he was yeah, the one. She was the one he had her. feelings for. You don't remember? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I said uh, it was. There's some cool stuff. It probably could have been even cooler if it was just a short. Instead that's of what a I'm movie. thinking. Thirty minutes, and then that's easy. what I texted Joe. I think when because he's the one. It was Joe's pick, and I, I go. It no, seems put like it on me, unbelievable. Well, no, I'm just like because like, yeah. we texted about it because yeah. of that. I was like, I feel like uh, they had a good idea for a short, and we're like, let's stretch this out. No, seriously, and it didn't stretch. It could have been like proportionally. Yeah, like a Black Mirror episode. Yeah, but like. The I mean, it, one, literally, right? it was almost. Yeah. It was only like yeah. an hour and ten minutes. So, yeah. <laughs> I uh, guess I, I will ask this though. At the beginning, he's at the rest stop, and he's like distraught because uh, his girlfriend broke up with him. We think or whatever, right? And uh, but he had to kill her. That's the that's the truth, right? Sure. And uh, how did nobody interfere at the rest stop? When he had a bonfire going, yeah, he, he was like burning pantless outside. How did nobody lowest traffic ever for a rest I stop? I mean, it's a rest stop. Would you interfere with that? No. I, I mean, would go how sprinting did, past. How him. would the cops not get called or something? It's a rest stop. I mean, I've been at a rest stop with a man just walking around jacking off in public, no and way. nobody stopped no him. Way. So yeah, why? <laughs> you you were there. I yeah. was. I was. I was the one. <laughs> <laughs> was like, you didn't recognize me. <laughs> that was you. That's crazy. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, like I said. Interesting premise, payoff, not worth it at all. Uh, 
But an, an old god was punishing a bad man for his actions. That's the gist of it, right? Being a serial killer. Uh, I guess. I'd, right? Uh, I don't know the gist of it, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> After yeah. it was over, I was just like, "Whoa, that was something." Yeah, <laughs> I just thought th- I just thought there Stop. was minimal character development and like there was minimal everything and an ambiguous <laughs> ending. Did he die or you know yeah. like he presumably died because he cut out part of his liter- liver for the creature? <laughs> I think they just, like the storyboard probably just had glory hole J.K. Simmons and they were like, "Go, <laughs> boom, yeah, we'll wing the You're rest done. of it." Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, why, why did he entertain? jk simmons from the get like he just like entertained the guy talking in the stall like get the hell out of there he did have too much of a conversation he did before the door was even locked (laughs) seriously like come on man but it just didn't have much you're telling me you can't see ben having a conversation like that oh for sure (laughs) if someone mentioned doubt in a stall we'd be like oh bro (laughs) stick that peen through baby (laughs) you like meryl streep give me that dog yeah it's getting blown (laughs) Oh uh, no! But the writing—the writing was subpar. Oh, here we go. I mean, it, it the was. doubt pedestal. You—you you can't. You can't tell me. I, no, you, it wasn't. It you, wasn't very good. You can't tell me. It did have like, it did have a couple cool, I guess, sequences. One of them that sticks out is the raining blood. When yeah, that, that was cool. That was cool. Yeah, it was. It was like a mist, mm. and that just looked really neat. And the guy's heart comes under the stall, yep. and that was neat. Mm. Uh, Neat. Mm, color, that was the one thing. Color out of space. Uh, color out of space. Like visuals, lighting. Some some parts. You know, yeah. you've seen Color Out of Space with Nicolas Cage. It was like uh, what are those movies called? Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Help me out. Uh, There's a name. Scott. For it. What is that called? It's killing me now. Get down. Um. <laughs> oh my god. You just clawed in my fucking head. Lovecraftian. Yes. That's it. Lovecraftian. Yeah. It was like the lowest version of that. I would say. <laughs> Yeah, it was. Because all it had was like the God. The colors and the name. Yeah. The premise. It All it had was a premise that didn't really... If you really... bite me, you're done. Dude, stop. We'll cut you're this. You're done. We can cut. We'll cut this. <laughs> He's going to get punted like Baxter. <laughs> he is on a tear tonight. Can you stop that? I only picked it because it was a... It's Halloween season horror movie. Supposedly horror and movie. it was easy for everybody to watch. Yeah, and it was easily accessible... Interesting and premise. The synopsis was intriguing, so I was like, oh, it could I mean, be something. Movie about a glory hole. We're gonna be in Let's with J.K. Honest. Simmons. Yeah. I just thought the writing was just—they didn't, they couldn't do nothing with it. But like, what are you gonna do with it? Did you expect a lot from it when you went in? I didn't. I did not. I expected maybe a little bit more. Okay, but I—I—I right. I, I, I don't know. That's about what I expected going, and I was like, well, it'll be Stop. something to watch. <laughs> no. <Stop. laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, are you guys had anything else you want to say about it, or you guys want to get to rating? It's a ratings. Uh, I gave it a five. I gave it a five and a half. I gave it a six, which you know is my usual run of the mill. Like, I didn't love it, didn't hate it. It's a six. Unless it's Green Knight, then it's one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Woof. Uh, Woof. What would you guys say, final verdict? Watch it ASAP, watch it whenever, skip it. I think you can skip it. You could probably skip it. I would say watch it ASAP, but no, I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you want to skip this one. All right, guys, we got the movie quote game for you. Shaw's got a movie quote. We got to guess it. What do you got, Shaw? Um, you're gonna like it, I think. Just when I thought I was out, they pull me back in. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's got to be The Godfather. Part two. Joe. That's what I thought. Wait, part three is it? Just when I thought I was out, they pull me back in. Oh, that's crazy! I honestly haven't even watched part three in like a millennia because it's not good. So I can't believe that. Well, do I mean, you know good, why I used not. it? Yeah, because Sopranos. <laughs> yeah, so I, I was gonna say that is the way you said it was kind of Sopranosy, but like, w- were, if would that have been an acceptable answer? <laughs> this if you would have said the Sopranos, sure. I mean, you guys get half a point. I don't. I wouldn't have known it was a Godfather three. I just knew it was from one of the Godfather movies. Okay, so you can both get half a point. I don't care. Thank you. Yeah, that, that, that's good. Thank Not you. Right. Anyway, so but it's just it. funny because he does. He says it like every episode yeah, for a just while. Just when I thought I <laughs> he does that. <laughs> they pull me back. And then they always ask for it, even though they all think it's stupid. Yeah. Like they're like, do it I, again. I love do Tony's again. reaction at the pool table. He's like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, what is it? Ralphie? keeps doing 
Gladiator. 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 He's yeah. like, it's, and then he wa- what does he watch? Does he watch 300 or something? He watches another Gladiator movie, and he's like, what the fuck is he thinking? He thinks this is better than the Gladiator? <laughs> like, he watches he's and he has obsessed. his mistress, like he's screaming at her, like, he thinks this is a better <laughs> fucking movie? I love Ralphie. He's obsessed with Gladiator. All right, guys, that's our review for Glorious. Thank you for watching. We love you, and we will see you very soon.